my name is Denny Intimath. I am the Community Liaison Officer at the State Library of Western Australia. Protocol 12, the digital environment, um, allows for Indigenous communities, specifically out of, you know, urban um, cultural centres, to be able to access their material. And a lot of their information was stolen and it actually needs to be given back. The digital environment is the way in which we can do that. We can still have the originals held uh, so that they're held correctly, that they won't be lost, but the information needs to go back to community. Um, so the geographical barriers that the, that the digital world can actually help with is, is amazing, um, but it also helps for Indigenous communities to be able to view their information, but also to be able to reinterpret it. Because we need to remember, again, information was written about us. We never were able to come to the table. We never got to have a say, which is why self-determination, again, is so important. The digital world lets us do that. It lets us repatriate, it lets us co-create our collections, but it also ensures that collections that are held anywhere else can re be repatriated back to our state. At my own library, there are multiple instances where well-known pastors, well-known missionaries travelled you know, within these pretend borders that we have now, um, and they took photos of other states. And we at my library are trying to repatriate that back as well. Um, and that's what the digital environment allows you to do. Gaining new community insight um, is wonderful for any cultural institution. Um, actually identifying people within these multitudes of photos that were taken of people who didn't know that they were taking photos sometimes. There's instances where you can actively see people turning their backs to photos as well. Um, but actually getting that perspective in a safe way. Because what we're talking about is a culturally safe library. Some libraries are not culturally safe and it is different for everybody else. The digital environment allows you to actually view this material at home in a safe place where you can talk to your family members, where your elders can actually explain to you their personal stories, which may include heartbreak. Do we really expect that elders should have to come into colonial institutions and lay their heart on the ground when they're talking about what happened to them? I don't think that that's correct and I don't think that that's culturally safe either. The digital environment will allow us to be able to have these conversations with the people that we hold close in a safe way, that their healing can continue and we can actually learn from it as well because it's our young people of today that will stand up in the long run and become the elders of tomorrow. And if the information can't be passed down because it's held in an institution that you can't walk into, then that's just another instance where the colonial rule is continuing. And I think today in 2019, we really need to start actually acknowledging what, what our institutions hold and how we can use it as a form of truth telling. <laughs>